What is up guys, it's your boy Badge Plug, and today we're going to be trying something crazy on 2K22, so please drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get into it. So I'm on a two-way three-point playmaker. This build has a 94 three-pointer right away, and as you see, we've got a hand cam in the top left, so you're able to see everything i'm going to be doing in these gameplays now this isn't a hand cam dribble tutorial but if you guys want that get this video to 3500 likes and i got you last time i asked we got super close so today we're using real player percentage but with a twist if you haven't seen it it basically times the shot for you and depending on your attributes will determine the percentage of the shot going in so i'm sure a lot of you have already seen this youtubers making videos on it but today i wanted to try something completely new the twist is going to be as you see with the hand cam in the top left we're going to be going to the park and trying to make shots consistently with holding the button all the way down yes all the way down first shot holding it all the way down it goes in i'm like no way this has to be lucky it's got to be just something that was you know first shot good luck something like that right into the corner holding it all the way down we're going to miss that shot because he was a little bit there so if you all haven't seen real player present this year as he greens the shot you're able to shoot wide open really good but as long as it's like one percent contested two percent you're going to be missing a lot of shots so wide open it helps a lot but you also can't be contested there's a big curse to it so you see once again pulling up and making the shot holding it all the way down i couldn't believe this because i thought you were gonna have to at least time it a little bit i don't know you know and then we got into it and look at this we're actually two for three holding it all the way down but like i said if you're any bit contested you're going to miss so i think this is actually a good thing to be in the game you guys got to think of everyone's perspective right there's people that are in like brazil and stuff like that they don't have their own servers so every time they get on 2k they're extremely delayed super delayed and they need to be able to make their shots if they're still able to get open. So I think this is a good thing for people like that because, you know, they are not able to have the same luxuries that we do, right? So I dex into the corner, hold it all the way down, and make it again, again. Now, like I said, there's a huge curse to it. It's a blessing and a curse. If you don't know how to shoot or you're in a delayed server, yeah, you can make your open shots, but you have to get open, though very open off the screen holding it all the way and making another shot yes it's insane i first started this video with doing it in the corner without a hand cam because i thought that was the only way i was going to be able to make every single shot look at this again splashing the only way i was going to be able to make my shots consistently was in the corner catch and shoot but i didn't want to do that i wanted to show you guys hand cam me literally holding it all the way down and running around not just catch and shoot off dimer and stuff like that so you see we went seven for eight four for five from three in the first game four for five that's crazy to me that there's a setting in the game that lets you hold it all the way down and still make the shot now how low can you also do this and be able to make shots consistently i don't know because this was the first time that i tried out real player percent this year on 2k22 so maybe you guys in the comments can let me know what is like the lowest you've tried it with because i know a lot of people have been telling me to use it all year and try it out so this was my first time doing it and look at this look at this if you got on a fast jump shot and you got on a short build where your shot's even faster, you're able to get that shot off in that little instance right there, and it's still open even though it doesn't look like it's open, which is just insane to me. And I know, I know I'm left riding. <laughs> I know, guys, trust me, it hurt to do this on the inside. All right, but this was all for the test. You know, <laughs> you know it was all for the test. I'm sure we could have probably did it in the ISO too, but I just wanted to be able to get open easily and shoot the ball. You see, this man's a post scorer. I rip him, pull up, low stamina, not, you know, full stamina or anything, running backwards and still making the shot. It's crazy to me. But like I said, man, we are not as lucky as everybody else. Imagine you're playing 2K and your ping is like 500. So mine's around 50 or 60. Your guys is probably around 50 to 100, you know, somewhere around there. People that don't have servers in their area are playing at like 300, 400, 500 ping. I mean, literally, imagine pressing a button and the game doesn't actually do the button until half a second later. That's a lot of time in a basketball game. 
So I definitely see a reason for it to be in the game if those people have thought of that. You see, pulling up and just splashing that thing. But I don't know, man. It is tough because there's obviously way more people that are going to be using this that don't need it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm splashing in the corner, sharpshooting takeover. And once again, we're not really missing a lot of shots. A thing about 2K22 is it's not very hard to get open, especially through screens with a little build. And you see, it's all day. Now, if he picked up, then guess what? I would just pass it to Premiere on the roll or the pop. And there's nothing they can really do, you know what I'm saying, as long as I'm getting open. But you see, off the little, you know, gather. A gather shot. But, we, you know, we did have sharpshooting takeover. I'm still saying, though, gather shot. Not even a good shot selection, really. And still making it. Making him jump. Pulling up. Banging that. Oh, we missed a shot wide open. You're able to miss open with this shot. That is something that you also have to keep in mind is that you're not going to make every single shot, especially probably if you have a lower three point rating. I'm guessing around 75, 80 is where you're going to start missing even the open shots. You're not going to be shooting over like 60%. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I'm just saying. So you see my thing was like disconnecting a little bit right there. But guys, once again, if you want a dribble tutorial, I'm going to show you everything I do. I'm not going to show you how to left, right. You guys, there's plenty of videos out there on how to go left, right left right but if you want to know every single thing that i do i'll literally show you every move that i do in the iso stuff like that get this video to 3500 likes i'll drop a detailed description of every single dribble move how to do it all the combos that i do out of it everything 3500 likes i got you guys i'm probably going to post it around when the new season comes out because i do want to wait till the new dribble moves comes out so it's going to be like five days from now and you guys will get it so you see premier getting the block right there pulling up look at that look at the stamina it was a slower shot because my stamina was so low and we still made it so it's not just oh can you make it wide open we've done running backwards after steal low stamina you know all that type of stuff and it's still able to go in consistently on 2k22 with this little real player percent thing so you see right there i'd take a bad shot now if i was a play shot with uh you know no real player percent i probably could agree in that you know mismatch expert stuff like that but with this with the blessing of being able to pretty much make anything wide open, you also have the curse of being contested and missing a lot of shots. So that's pretty much it for the video. You see, I'm just pulling up again, splashing that thing. It's crazy. It's actually insane to me that you're able to do that. It just blows my mind every time I see it. I'm holding the button all the way down and making the shot. That's why I put on the hand cam so you guys could really see what I was doing. And right there, I run out of bounds, but I still make it off the fade man it's insane so guys what i want you to do is if you want to watch me play 2k live i stream every single day pretty much on facebook okay type in badge plug the same thing as my youtube name on facebook you'll find me on there i stream all kinds of games not just 2k i was playing call of duty last night and i play a bunch of games skate three you guys get the gist you know what i'm saying but anyway right here you see i'm stripping him ripping that ball stripper pulling up and yeah we're not gonna make that shot like i said you can't make that shot but i'm gonna green that or white that whatever you want whatever you want to call it man this was our worst game you see out of the three gameplays we're seven for eleven or six for nine from three six for nine for from three is our worst game actually seven for ten was our worst game out of all three of these it's your boy badge plug been plugged in make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet